All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. And today, I want to give my fellow global players a quick preview of the upcoming Transforming Int Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, who of course is going to be part of the Dual Dokkan Fest with him and the Tech Maja Vegeta for this year's Goku Day Celebration. Now, I've seen a lot of people out there say that they plan to skip these banners completely, which I completely understand since we are literally two months away from the five year anniversary, guys. And I'm sure you guys are super, super hyped for that. But for those of you out there who are thinking about maybe summoning for one or both of these units, hopefully these showcases and previews will help you make that decision. All right, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. And on this first rotation here, we are sandwiched between two Super Saiyan 4 Gokus, which is okay. Uh, we got 106,703 defense. Actually, let me put him in the first slot. It doesn't really matter if these two don't link. And let's try to get a Super. Actually, can we even get a Super? Maybe not, actually. Maybe not, so I might have to put him there. Okay, so let's put him there. It's not a big deal. And... Uh, we'll get at least three orbs because this guy gets an extra attack and defense plus 30% with three key spheres. And of course, no support on this rotation. So without support, let's see what this guy can do. Now, 106,000 defense, of course, is not the highest we've seen, but it's actually not bad. And uh, he will get more tanky as your, uh, I mean, when we transform. And also, well, actually, no, I'm getting him mixed up with the Majin Vegeta. So this guy gets more defense when at higher HP. So when we're at full HP, he should be getting his highest defense boost. So we're starting off with 2.5 million for the first attack. Not bad. And a 2 mil crit. Goku is dead. Moving on. Okay. Okay. Now, like I said, he gets more defense when you're at higher HP. He gets more attack when you're at lower HP. All right, so that means that we haven't seen anything yet as far as damage output goes, especially because he hasn't transformed yet. And who do I want to take out of rotation here? Because we got to get one of them to support later on. I think we'll start with the Int Gohan support first. So I'm going to put him in the back there. And what I'm going to do this turn is actually try to do as little damage as possible. Because as far as the transformation condition go goes for this Goku and also the Majin Vegeta. Actually, they have the same transformation conditions and uh, it's actually fairly forgiving as far as conditions go, you know, especially compared to like the LR Gohan and the LR Cell. Uh, basically, what you have to do is be on the third turn of the battle, which will be next turn. And you have to be facing only one enemy, which is not going to be an issue here because we're obviously facing only one enemy the entire time. And you also have to be but the enemy has to be above 80% HP. So we're going to try to hopefully have him be there. Oh, damn. Okay, we didn't get it. We didn't get it. He must be like just below 80% or something like that. Um, well, that's unfortunate. All right, so we're going to do one more turn with the Super Saiyan 2 Goku. Hopefully next time he comes back, we'll get that transformation. Of course, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock is a very good linking partner for him, especially after he transforms. So let's just give these guys a few orbs. Let's see if there's any changes to the stats here. Um, 104,000 defense because we did lose some HP. So he got to get a little bit less defense, but he's going to have a little bit more attack than last time. So we should, be, we should be seeing some more damage here than the first turn. Okay, so tanking well. And I think we did get a little bit more attack. It's not like super noticeable, but maybe like 50k more. Something like that. I don't really know. Okay, so hopefully next time this rotation comes around, we will get that Super Saiyan 3 Goku uh, transformation, which means that we would have to kill the enemy Goku next turn, which shouldn't be an issue, actually. Shouldn't be too difficult to get that. We're only on the second stage, right? Of course, um, after this video comes out, Maybe later tonight or tomorrow, I will be releasing the Tech Majin Vegeta Showcase as well, so stay tuned for that, guys. Um, oh yeah, no, we can definitely kill the Goku. You know what, let's just let's just pop the active skill. Why not? I haven't seen this in a long time, man. It's been ages since I've seen this um, active skill animation, and it's crazy to see how far the animations 
for these active skills have come because this is like nothing now you know what i mean like look at the transforming cooler look at the um what else oh the the dynamic transforming goku so on and so forth like so much better but i understand like these were the first right these were the originals so i mean it was okay for its time i guess here's the transformation for the super saiyan 2 goku into super saiyan 3 very dope animation in my opinion and we also have the Gohan on rotation. We're going to be seeing some nice numbers here, guys. We are going to be seeing some nice numbers here. Now, let me read the passive for the Super Saiyan 3 Goku for you guys. Um, for anybody that's not aware, basically, he gets attack and defense plus 120%. And then he gets an additional defense boost by up to 77%. The more HP remaining, the higher the boost. And he gets an additional attack boost by up to 77%, the less HP remaining. The greater the boost so basically um he hits harder when you're at lower hp and he also gets an additional 33 percent chance to dodge attacks and attack and defense plus 33 percent with three or more key spheres and attacks effective against all types with six or more key spheres obtained so obviously that's gonna happen right now and does he get any extra links from gohan no he doesn't okay so we'll leave him there let's give him all these orbs his defense is now at 134,000. And man, the only thing that's missing from this rotation is the extra support from Bardock. You have to be below 40, or sorry, 70% HP for 40% extra attack, right? So we'll get that at some point in this showcase. But right now, we should be seeing easily over 3 million, maybe 3.5, maybe even more. Obviously, doing some really good tanking here. 3.7. There you go, 3.7 with the dope animation and 2.9, we get the dodge as well. Of course, 33% ch chance to dodge. Bardock actually putting in some work too, 2.3 right there, 2.3 and he's somehow still alive. So Gohan's gonna finish it off. Uh, there you go guys, 3.7 for this turn up from 2.5 the previous turn. You can see a huge, huge difference between the Super Saiyan 2 um, damage output and the Super Saiyan 3 damage output, which of course is expected, but we actually haven't seen anything yet because what's gonna happen is once we get lower, okay, you know what, I'm actually gonna try to take some damage here. Once we get lower HP, his attack is gonna go even higher, you know, so we can still get even more damage out of this guy. I'm just trying to see if I, I probably won't die, right? I mean, these guys are not super tanky. The Super Saiyan 4s are not tanky um, without... Yeah, okay, so we're taking some damage. Not too bad, though. All right. It's going to be 100k, maybe? 55k. That's good, actually. That's really good, because next turn, we're going to get the support. Oh, no! I forgot Pan actually heals. Okay, either way, we're still going to get the support from Bardock. We're going to get the support from the Gohan here. So this is gonna be a nice rotation, man. So defense is down to 122,000 um, because of course we have lower HP now, right? But we are still gonna be getting a lot of attack here. Oh, crap. Oh, we're good, okay. No, for a second I was like, oh crap, I thought I was giving those to the Goku, but it's fine, we still have at least six orbs here, so we still get the attack to, attacks effective against all types. We still get the extra chance to dodge and also the 33% attack and defense. Uh, I'll give these to Gohan, I guess. Doesn't really matter. And now we should see some really nice numbers because we're getting that 40% support from Bardock and the 35% from the Gohan. And of course, he also has a pretty big boost himself on his own passive. There we go, almost 4.2 million. Almost 4.2 mil. And a 3.2 mil crit, damn. Taking normals for two, two double digits, triple digits. Um, yeah, not bad. Not bad. I personally am a big fan of these units, guys. I know people are planning to skip, not necessarily because they don't think the units are good. I think a lot of people are planning to skip mainly because um, of the anniversary that's coming, right? And also because people aren't you know super high on their banners, which I get, like their banners are not that impressive. They're not bad. Not bad banners in my opinion, but obviously, you know, they could be better, right? So I get that, but I really want these guys. So I will be summoning. I actually most likely will be doing a stream 
when the banners go live. So if you guys are looking to watch me maybe get shafted once again, I mean, it happens a lot, so I wouldn't be surprised if that happens on these banners too, then stay tuned. All right, keep an eye out for that scheduled stream on the channel. I will be going live as soon as the banners drop, probably at the same time as usual, 2.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be there, all right? I think it's gonna be May 8th is when the banners are dropping. Not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure May 8th is the date. Okay, so now let's pop this B Pan active skill, get that extra, is it 33% attack? I think it's 33, yeah, 33% 33, 33 attack right there. And, uh, ooh, I don't know if we can get enough orbs actually. Hmm. So what if I give these to Bardock? And then we get these AGL orbs, one, two, three, four, five, okay, seven, there we go. So I'ma actually just use a Ghost Usher because I am not super, super, I mean, I don't have the type advantage, but I still don't trust Bardock that much to tank all those attacks, especially a super. So there we go. We are below 50% HP now. So he should be getting a good amount of that extra 77% attack. And of course we got the V-Pan support right there. So, Show me something good, Goku. This might be the last attack of the showcase, guys, because I don't feel like there's much else to see after this. Um, this is probably going to be close to, like, the most attack you'll see. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Five million for a TUR. Five million attack. Man. That's crazy. Okay, so I don't think there's much else to see. I mean, I'm, I'll play it out. I'll play it out because I usually do for these videos um, just because I don't like to quit. You know what I mean, so maybe we'll keep going until we die or something like that. But actually, if we survive this turn, which actually we might not now because I didn't, you know, use any items or anything like that. But I was going to say, if we survived, we would get the Gohan support on the next turn again. So we might see something even better. Um, oh, we're, we're alive. Oh, okay. You know what? One more attack. One more attack before we go. But yeah, while we're doing this, before we go, make sure you guys let me know in the comments down below what this video did for your decision as far as whether to summon or not, right? Like, did, are, are you convinced now that like maybe these guys are worth some stones or are you still going to be skipping and saving for the five year anniversary? Either way, I understand whatever you guys decide to do. Um, maybe we should test this tanking a bit. I don't know. Thing is, I don't want him to die. That's what I'm worried about. Uh, <laughs> 124,000 defense should be enough, right? With the type of advantage, it should be enough. Also, we have the 33% chance to dodge. So we're gonna... We're gonna let him do his thing. We're gonna let him do his thing. Okay, show me some tanking, man. Show me some tanking. Okay, triple digit. Here's the super. Please be... Oh! Okay, there's the dodge. I mean, that's the that's the best possible tank, right? Zero damage. And, okay, 4.4 mil there. A little bit less than last turn. But still very, very impressive. And there it is. God Koo is dead. Um, as I was saying, though, let me know in the comments if this video convinced you to summon or are you still not summoning. Either way, doesn't really matter. I understand either way. I'm just curious about how many people... Um, are gonna be skipping how many people are gonna be summoning right like I said I will be summoning and uh, that's gonna be the showcase today or the preview global preview for the transforming Super Saiyan 3 Goku I'm a huge huge fan of this unit man I think it's a lot of fun to use I think his animations are dope and he hits pretty freaking hard his defense not bad either uh, the, the Majin Vegeta will tank better overall but um, this guy's just a very, very solid overall unit. So that's it, guys. That is the video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.